Well, I'm joined now at Free Dairy Corner by three people who knew Martin McGuinness. Uh, Dennis Bradley is former Vice Chair of the Northern Ireland Peace uh, uh, Commission. Uh, Declan Carney is the National Chairperson of Sinn Féin and Deirdre Heenan is Professor of Social Policy at the University of Ulster. Declan, if I could come to you first, um, obviously first and foremost you've lost a friend, you've lost a very close colleague. What are your initial thoughts this evening? Martin's family is heartbroken tonight. My thoughts are with Bernie, with Grania, Fanula, with Emmett and with Fakra and the grandchildren and the extended family. And the Republican family in Ireland is heartbroken also. He was a Republican visionary. He was a colossus of our peace process. He was a, a man with a, a, a fierce zest for life. He enjoyed sport and, and all things <laughs> Irish. And uh, he had a great graph for Seamus Heaney's poetry. And I was thinking earlier this evening about the epitaph on Seamus's gravestone in Balahi Cemetery. Walk on air against your better judgment. And that really sums up Martin McGuinness for me tonight, because that characteristic risk taking of Martin is what has advanced us to this point in our peace and reconciliation processes and also on the journey towards a united Ireland. Um, we've heard a lot today from people who might have been the victims of Republican uh, violence, victims of the IRA, who said that they forgive Martin McGuinness for his role, whatever role that was. We've also heard from people who say they can't find it uh, in themselves to forgive him. Can you understand why people feel like that? Yes, because we have advanced a peace process and Martin was central to that development. But in many discussions with myself and others, Martin talked about how we needed to advance the peace process to a new stage, the stage of reconciliation and healing. And one of the developments that must emerge from reconciliation and healing is a greater understanding of each other, greater levels of mutual respect, an appreciation of what we have all come through and ultimately the ability to forgive, not to forget, but to forgive. And finally, Declan Carney, um, obviously, even apart from the personal level, given the state of uh, politics at the moment in Stormont, you're going to miss him? We will miss him, but Martin himself recognised that what we had to do in Sinn Féin was build a collective leadership nationally. We have successfully done that. Our party has a vision for the future. We are absolutely committed to the re-establishment of the political institutions and the stabilising of the political process in the North. But equally, the two governments must step up to the plate and ensure that the potential that we have for going forward is realised and maximised okay. in the interests of all of our people. OK, well, thank you all indeed for joining us on this rather cool evening in Derry. Uh, and thank you again.